I feel like I have a, a new niece on mine. It was looking kind of bleak at one time. Started living with congestive heart failure when I was 36 years old. And it started to take a toll on my body. I was tired all the time and couldn't walk very far. And I was seeing my regular cardiologist. At one point, we were maybe on from 10 to 12 pills at a time. And nothing was helping to let me know, hey, we've done what we could here. And that's when I was sent over to Baptist to the transplant team with Dr. Yarn. We met Ms. Isaacs um, uh, several years ago. Despite all the medications that she was receiving, her heart failure was progressing, and ultimately, she was looking at a heart transplant in the near future. You know, I wasn't even expected to last five years. So it was a scary time for everybody. Nowadays, we'd like to think about heart failure as a lifelong disease. You cannot really cure heart failure, but we can put heart failure into a remission. We have developed several devices that help with quality of life. I remember that day so well. He came in, he started explaining the air stem procedure to me how it worked and where it'd be placed and how it'd be going up the carotid artery and then something else would be attached up here. And he really believed that it would benefit me. Baroreflex activation therapy, or Baristim, is a neuro device that we use nowadays for patients in heart failure. During the process of heart failure, our brain activates pathways that start working our heart a lot harder to make sure heart can sustain the life. If your heart is already weak, and your brain is trying to work your heart a lot harder, at some point this heart is going to quit. There's multiple research studies or treating our patients with bare reflex activation therapy that lead to improvement of quality of life. So those patients can delay need for things like heart transplant. It's an outpatient procedure done by a vascular surgeon. You don't have to be admitted to the hospital. You come in the morning, get your device implanted, we check your device, and usually you go home. You know, I read up on it, I found out all the information that I could find about it. And then I thought about, well, my best son was getting ready to be born. If I don't do this, I may not make it to even see him grow up. And so maybe a month later, we had the implant done. Baptist in Memphis was the first hospital in the tri-state area, Tennessee, Arkansas, and Mississippi, to implant Baristim for patients with heart failure. Ms. Isaacs was our first Baristim device implant. She had an excellent response. She recovered real quick, and her symptoms improved very quick. So now, Ms. Isaacs is two years out of the device implant, and she still did not cross into the category when she is in need of heart transplant. Within a month, I started to see a difference. I started feeling back to me. It's been an awesome experience, and we seem to be on the right track. Bear Stem has been a blessing.